seems like a pretty accomplished Ganondorf player. He does play some PMs, so I've heard of him. And it looks like we are getting into the match Lib Free or Die Hard, or Di Hard, interesting tag. I like the creativity. So he will be the blue Dr. Mario player. Tag clocking in as Gan. Oh, that's a really, really bad spot to be in right off the bat, and the cape will take the first stock. Tag gonna have to adjust essentially down a full stock from the very beginning of the game. Interesting choice of a down B there. Yeah, he's, okay. So he's, I don't know if I like the strategy. He's putting himself in really dangerous situations by going to the ledge. And he still has yet to put a hit on top of Lip Free or Die Hard. Lip Free seems like he's pretty experienced. He's controlling Doc pretty well. Okay, there's the back air to get something. Oh, downer could have worked. And he goes to the up smash after the down throw. It's possible he meant to up air instead, and he just got the jump pistol up smash instead. Needs a forward air, and Lip Free or Die Hard rocking it so far with only 23%, looking super confident in a battlefield here. And uh, I'm not sure what exactly tag. He's going to have to make some major adjustments here. And looks like a doubles partner is also stepping up to the mic. It is AWOL. Hey. Oh, wow. That, okay. that, is, uh, that is a little loud. Who, a little who bit loud. Maybe, in, tag, maybe it's all right in the stream. But. Tag and Lib Free or Die Hard. Um, do you, uh, have you given any background on these guys? So Tag is a Ganondorf player that I've played a few friendlies with. Okay. Uh, he is still sort of like developing some consistency with his Ganondorf, but he's uh, he's asking questions in the right places and you know learning yeah. slowly and, and surely. Sure. But I don't like what he's doing here. He's retreating to the ledge and just like giving Lib Free or Die Hard all the space to yeah. approach him. So uh, Liber, uh, his, his normal tag is Liberate. Liberate's a St. Louis, uh, St. Louis player, top 10. Uh, I think he's number 10 on their PR. And um, he, uh, he actually gets a lot of uh, Ganon practice with uh, another St. Louis player named Cup. So he is uh, actually oh. well versed in that oh. matchup as uh, Tag goes for gold and ends up taking the four stock. Yeah. Let me, I will scoot over to. Yeah, Dr. Mario falls slowly enough get, that uh, the camera, the Tipman spike didn't even KO him yep. before he the, sunk to the bottom there. Good old, uh, good old Tipman. So and yeah, uh, uh, Liberate, Liber super duper confident here. Liberate, uh, Liberate will probably not switch off of Badak if I had to guess. I mean, there's no reason to be just four stock tag. Right. Or let me let me rephrase that. I think Doc is for sure his main character, and okay. I don't, uh, I don't know who he has as secondary. He, I was playing some friendlies with him yesterday, and he was, he had, uh, he had a Marth. He actually beat my Marth with Marth and a Marth. Uh, we're going to Fountain of Dreams, a uh, classic uh, Ganon counter pick. Although to be fair, this is a good, uh, this is fairly good Doc stage too, with. Yep. Uh, Oh, with the is, whoa! What is going on? Uh, oh, okay. The well player the, cam the fell player down. The player cam. So we gotta write that real quick. Yep. And uh, right now, yeah. So those uh, those platforms hey, are actually going to help uh, Dr. Mario. Uh, okay, they're, they're do going in pill play. approaches. There we go. Oh, um, <laughs> we have we have upside down. Oh, okay. That's uh, sort of tag. Uh, I, I was going to get hyped for anti gravity <laughs> player cam there. <laughs> tag with the SD there. Now those. Oh, okay. Those, uh, those, those pills are going to be key for Doc approaching. Uh, they go. Um, they go in a oh making it back that was amazing and then ESDs um, but they are um, they go pretty much in a diagonal trajectory they're a little different from Myers fireballs generally considered to be a little more useful uh, yeah, I just because of their different trajectory and I believe that if you throw the fireballs from higher up they bounce higher as well so yes. you can adjust the bounce trajectory of the fireballs as well yep. oh the the pills excuse me I'm used to being um, sure uh, now. Uh, Liberate, uh, he, he likes the full hop. Oh, goes for the cape. Uh, interesting, the cape stalls Ganon for uh, long enough to uh, to uh, get the conversion on the down smash, and yeah. he gets edged our A bit of a lift up cape. Yeah, yeah, a bit of a lift up. Um, that Doc's Four bear, jacks. Doc's bear is one of his best moves. Um, great for edge guarding, comes out really, really quick, and I think Ooh, okay. is good deceptively jump. disjointed. I, I think, I'm not positive. Uh, good drill there. Again, Tag is not responding too well to this pressure here. Uh, live free or die hard. Die hard. Liberate. I just call him liberate. Liberate. He's doing pretty well with this uh, spacing and yeah. like throwing out moves at times where it's difficult for him to punish. Yeah. Uh, especially since he doesn't seem to be wave dashing on a shield or shield dropping much, mm -hmm. if at all. Oh. Yeah. There's the cape. You got. You really yep. got to be careful when uh, when you're recovering against uh, Mario or Dr. Mario. I think what we're probably seeing here, li uh, liberate. Like I said, he's got a lot of. Uh, Ganon practice, whereas I don't think anyone in KC plays Doc Look at this exclusively. Yeah, that's that's a great move. Uh, Lib misses, okay. uh, or I think he ledge canceled uh, and tried to L cancel instead air dodge and gets fared off stage, but uh, he oh. should oh. Yeah, have it. that edge guard right there. 204. Liberate. That was dominant. JV3 representing to finish off game two. Representing St. Louis.